the health of an economy immediately translates into the well-being of the people. When you have a good economy, the people rejoice. When the economy goes down, there will be hardship all over. And so it is not in the interest of NDC that there will be hardship. What we have always advocated for is to have the right economy because when it rains, it doesn't rain in the house of one person. All of us benefit from the rain. So if the economy is doing well, MPP members will benefit. M NDC members will benefit. If fuel prices go down, NDC members will, will get cheaper fuel. MPP members will get fewer, uh, I mean, uh, 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 cheaper fuel. So it is in our collective interest that the right thing is done. We have always questioned the economic policy choices by Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Nanado Danko Ekufado, and Ken Oforiata. We have always questioned these policy choices. We have always said that you cannot manage the Ghanaian economy when your focus is just on borrowing to show up the city. When we raise this issue, Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia, when the MPP had its 100 days in office, mm. did a press conference at the co uh, court complex. And at that per, uh, press conference, he said, look, the MPP has stabilized the city. And that by reason of the stability of that city, they have locked up the dollar and given the key to the IGP. For whatever comical reasons he made those statements, today, what is well known is that contrary to the claim by the chair of the economic mismanagement team, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, that they have locked up the dollar and given the key, the dollar had broken jail. And it is today trading almost 14 Ghana CD to a dollar, depending on where you get it. How did we get here in the first place? How did we, by reason of the so-called economic uh, management team that Dr. Bahamia boasted of in Cape Coast at the MPP conference, today the scorecard is that for the first time in the history of this country, we are having to pay 20 Ghana cities for a liter of diesel. If you have ever experienced that in your stay on earth, you can give me that narrative. It had never happened. If anybody had told me that we'll get to a point where a liter, beer bottle of diesel, will go for 20 Ghana cities, I wouldn't believe it. But that is the situation today. Look, and I have made the point that if you look, even as of December 2016, the whole gallon of diesel could not even cost you 16 Ghana cities. Not a bottle. The whole gallon. That's the four liters. The four liters. With, with 16 Ghana cities, you get the whole gallon. Today, if you have 16 Ghana cities, you can't even get the beer bottle of diesel. That is the scorecard of this government. And if you analyze the situation, you will notice that this whole problem is as a result of the policy choices by Ken Oforiata. And I'll demonstrate that. Look, when Ken became the finance minister, mm. the first thing, among the first thing that he did, having been so approved by parliament, was to go for the Franklin Templating 2.25 billion. If you recall, it became a whole lot of issues. With these all issues, and it went to shrudge, among mm. other things. Mm. That Franklin Templeton 2.25, even though it was in dollars, we received the, the, the CD equivalent. And so it basically showed up our reserve. That is what provided the relative stability that Dr. Bahamia said the CD was stable and that they have locked up the dollar in the whatever. Then the next year, which was 2018, what did he do again? He went now to the international euro bond market. 
and went for two billion dollars euro bond. It is that euro bond that he had used, and that is why I'm making the uh, I'm saying that policy choices. It is that euro bond, the two billion euro bond, when it came, that is why they used insuring up the city. Then in 2019, if you recall, he went again for three billion dollars euro bond. It was that three billion dollar euro bond that when he brought it, he did that press conference or uh, the party at the Ministry of Finance where they shared Kinky and Wachi. It was <laughs> it was that three billion, <laughs> and now claimed that mm -hmm. his competent management of the economy had taken us out of IMF. If you recall, I do, I do. What? But at the time, yes. at the time, yeah, I, I even though I do recall, at the time mm. you had made a strong case, mm. in fact, the NDC, mm. that it was the good management of John Ramani Mahama. So that's why and, I'm and coming And the fallout there. of IMF. So I'm coming the, there. The management... That is what has resulted... So you, you box on. Yeah. So on. the point I want to make is that, mm. you see, we had entered into the IMF program in March 2015, mm -hmm. if you recall. Yes, I remember. And they were supposed to have given us $900 million over. Yes, I do. By the time we left office by December 2016, the amount of money that came from the IMF program was a little over $300 million. Exactly. Over $500 million of that amount came under the MPP administration. So it was a program they never entered. But the money came when they were in power. Governance is continuing. So you can't say because NDC negotiated it, if we are living, <laughs> we will stop it. No, you can't. It's the same Ghana. Then came the issue of the IMF itself holding a press conference in Accra. You journalists were there. And the IMF had indicated that if you look at the investment that we're doing in the various oil fields, the two additional oil fields, it is clear that from 2017, the fallout will begin to happen. In economic management or in, 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 in modeling economic policy, there's something called policy lags. So even when you implement a policy today, the real impact of the economy, uh, the, the, the policy may not be immediate. So by the time MPP came to power, they had gotten additional two oil fields, never by any administration. And so if you look at our oil receipts as we speak today, the MPP is a beneficiary over 65% of total oil receipt that we have received from the time we started oil production. These are the records, so you cannot take it away. The point I am making is that Ken Oforiata, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, Nanado Dankwe Kufado decided to use bonds for the purposes of managing the Ghana city. And so they were doing 2.25 2017, did 2 billion in 2018, did 3 billion in 2019, 2020 when there was COVID, they went for another 2 billion euro bond. 2021, they did another 2 billion euro bond. As we speak, within the space of six years, the euro bond receipt alone by this administration is in the region of 11 billion dollars. You cannot controvert that. In eight years, the volume of Eurobond contracted by the Mills Mahama administration was 3.5 billion in eight years. Just in the space of six, uh, six years. This administration, they have done 11 billion Eurobond. Now, if you add the Franklin Templeton one to rate, that would amount to 13 billion in bonds. I, I thought the Templeton one. When you as up to, oh, oh, to the nine, to, no. get, to get to Sorry. the no, 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 no. no they have introduced. I thought we were talking about the majority. Um, MPs ninety eight. He just oh, wants. He the, just the, wants the to. He just the finance minister. Be, be, his policy be, be, choices. Be, These are the matters that are. But I'll come to you. I see that. Okay. Yes, I'll, I'll give you the time. Don't worry. So I'll, you see, you see. So the 